Uh, today I want to talk about a sorting filter widget. Um, this is part of Jet Smart Filter. Uh, so this is my demo site. Uh, I have volunteer opportunity website here. And whoever posts the, the opportunities, uh, this the latest goes on top. Okay, so based on the published date. And then, so if I go to search all positions, so as you see, so that the, this is sorted by published date. So the latest published date goes on the top. But the user, for example, uh, we have this deadline, so application deadline, so metadata here. And having this type of uh, the filter, the sorting filter will be helpful for users. And here, for example, so by deadline from oldest to latest. So it goes February, February, and then March, April, April, and then June and July, I guess, bottom here. Yeah, and you can um, go opposite way too. Uh, deadline from latest to oldest. With CrocBlock Smart Filter, so this is really easy to achieve. So let me show you how. Hi, my name is Osun Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. So let's get started. So I have volunteer opportunities of listing page here. So this is like a job opportunities uh, for volunteer positions. And I got uh, uh, smart filters on the left hand side. Now I like to uh, improve this uh, user experience. Uh, the thing is, so this is application deadline, right? So this is February uh, 2023 and June and July and June again and April. So this listing is sorted by published date. So it's not really a deadline. Now user probably wants to sort through by deadline. So I like to add a filter uh, for this so that the user can sort by uh, oldest or latest by deadline. So Croc block has, it's called the sorting filter. So let's go to edit with Elementor. I use Elementor for this. Oh, before that, uh, you need to have a smart filter uh, plugin for this. So uh, uh, this is my dashboard. And here I can stretch here and go to uh, Croc Block dashboard. And then make sure uh, Jet Smart Filter is enabled or activated for this. Okay. So let's go back to Elementor editor. And then, so search the widget, uh, sorting, um, yeah, sorting filter, so this one. And I'm gonna just uh, grab and then uh, put it on here. All right, so let's take a look at the content. Uh, so this filter for, this is jet engine. So this is jet engine. And then apply type, uh, Ajax or uh, page reload or mix. So I'm gonna just uh, use Ajax for this. Um, yeah, so I don't need the apply button for that. And the label. Okay, uh, sort by application deadline. Okay, and then um, placeholder sort. So that's okay. And go to sorting list. And here, so this is kind of default um, by title, uh, lowest to highest. So this goes, I think, uh, alphabetically, and I don't need that. Click, click and this by date lowest to highest um yeah so order by so if you pick this date so it's gonna just sort uh publish date so it's like that so that's not what i want so i like to uh sort by deadline so which is um the meta data and i like to use um uh, meta key but it's gonna be uh if you put, put just a uh, meta key it's gonna just um uh, sort through alphabetically. So in my case, I like to use meta key uh, numeric, right? And I have to find a key. So let's uh, go back to dashboard here. Uh, just one sec. I think I have a dashboard behind this. All right. So uh, let's just uh, take a quick look at uh, my jet engine uh, post type. And this is a volunteer job. And then I brought the meta field here and application deadline. So uh, this is, all right. So name ID is application deadline. I'm just copy this and then back to Elementor. 
and then paste on that. Uh, so I have to change the title uh, by the line from lowest, uh, probably uh, oldest, latest to um, oldest. Okay, and then ascendant is okay. And so that's the one. Hey, uh, actually, I'm going to just copy this, duplicate that. And I'm just going to delete this. And then so I'm going to just change to by that line from oldest to latest. And then same uh, meta key numeric. And application that line is a key. And then now this is probably um, I have to change to descendant, right? And then let's hit update. So let's uh, try. Uh, I'm gonna open new tab. All right. So now, yeah, it's just a random, right? So now let's see by that line from latest to oldest. All right, latest to oldest. Actually, uh, it's sort through, but I think it's opposite. It's, hang on, so the latest to oldest. So this is gonna be oldest to latest. All right, so um, excuse my English. So I think I made a mistake here. So now oldest to latest. Yeah, so it has to be opposite. So let's go back here. And then, uh, right, so this is pretty easy to change. Yeah, so what I can do is I would change to descendant, right? And then here, ascendant. And then if you want to, I can just switch around here. All right, and hit update. All right, so let's see. Uh, refresh this page. All right, so do it again. Now, so all this to latest. Perfect. Okay, and then latest to oldest. Perfect, so you can see that, All right? So July, June, June, April, and then back to March, and then February 4th, okay? So um, yeah, we can a little bit style uh, this section too. Um, oops, just pick this, and then go to style, and it looks like you can change the width of uh, this dropdown. Okay, and uh, select field, so I can just change to, um, I like just to match up with the others. And then color, I think we got the, this text color too. And uh, so this is okay, the border, so I don't need anything. Oh, it looks like you can change alignment here too, so like that. All right, and then this label is right here, so I can change that to, um, yeah, typography, I like to use uh, this primary, so same as that and so it looks like you can change that uh, alignment here as well okay and then uh, so i don't have buttons so this button should be that if you have apply button here now so i think go back to content here so i saw something um yeah so this label block i think i'm gonna just uh, make it just one line here Okay, so uh, this I like to just uh, add a little bit uh, space here. Uh, oh, I don't think, yeah, but I can use HTML, I think. Create a little bit of space here, and then uh, I like to move it to the right alignment. So go back to style. Think of the content here, so I get, uh, so I should be able to move it to the right hand side. So this is probably good. All right, uh, I want to just double check my mobile section here okay so this is okay all right so i'm gonna just go hit update and uh once again so go to refresh this page now user can sort by uh deadline here uh sorry it's just one thing i'd like to change quickly um here yeah, because by default, it's actually sorted by published date. So I want to just to make change the label here. Uh, so label should be uh, like sorted by date. 
and then place uh, placeholder. Actually, this I don't change um, publish date, and then yeah, I think that's all. Date. And then refresh. Yeah, like sort by date, and then now default is just publish date. As soon as somebody publishes, it goes on the top. And then, then user can change to by deadline from all this latest. I think that's probably better for user. All right, that's it for today. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.